Hello, this is Notch for Motion Designers. Today I'm gonna show how to create the popular Boilet look inside of Notch. Boilet is like a script that's frequently used in After Effects to create this kind of like hand-drawn look. And I'm gonna show you how to create this look inside of Notch. I set up a sample scene here and to make it more visible, let's turn on 3D object outline. So the look we want to create is this, this kind of hand-drawn look, which has a bit lower frame rate, but still is a bit smooth. So, like one idea how to create this, would most people would have top of their mind would be to use a turbulence warp. Well, I prepared a turbulence warp here, and the problem is like it animates way too fast, and like it doesn't get that stuttery feeling. But you know, you can always like add a frame buffer on top of that to kind of like lower the frame rate a bit. But then the problem is the whole scene, yeah, it looks pretty nice, but it's not as fluid as, you, as I want it to be. So let's turn that off. So instead of that, let's use a bump map warp. And connect that to the root and then use a fractal noise and connect that to the bump map warp and I prepare this fractal noise here uh, so it's like crazy fast moving and there's a lot of random values uh, and let's bring down displacement amount a bit like that but you see like the whole the whole image is not affected and that's because the modulate displacement amount by alpha is clicked so now the whole image is affected but it's still way too fluid so then let's add a frame buffered only on the fractal noise here that 0.1.15 something like that a little bit faster now it's rotating but you still have and the flu it's a bit fluid but you still have this kind of like hand rolled look to it and you can of course combine it just like turn on the global frame buffer and just make it a little bit lower the frame rate a little bit with it like something like like that now it looks even more hand roll yeah anyway that's it that's how, that's how to create this look inside of notch i'm gonna share a link to the dfx file in the description of this video see you next time